This factory in North London is helping to feed the nation at a time of crisis. The fresh and frozen food processed here goes to Tesco, Sainsbury's and Marks and Spencer. But is Bacavor, the company that runs this site, doing enough to protect its workforce? In this briefing to staff and agency workers last week, the Bacavor operations manager, who is standing less than two metres away from his colleague, admits that social distancing at the site is impossible. You come to work, you leave it around your neck. When you come and you go to go into the factory, because we can't social distance in there, we want you to cover over your mouth and your nose like this. Okay. In the recording, which was filmed secretly, workers are told the company is struggling because orders have fallen and because almost half the workforce is at home. The back of all manager says he believes that some workers can't be bothered to turn up. You know, if we look at 45% of people that are all sick, maybe 5% of those have coronavirus, the other 40% of people they just don't want to come. The manager then threatens to fire anyone who isn't ill and stays at home. If we need to get rid of 200 people, 200 people's jobs in next month, I'm going to look at who, who turned up to work and I'm going to look at who didn't bother turning up to work. You know, the people who didn't bother turning up to work, you know, they will be the first people that will have to get rid of, unfortunately. Bacavor isn't a household name, but the food it makes ends up in millions of homes all over the UK. The company employs 17,000 people at 23 factories. ITV News and The Guardian has spoken to several workers at the Elfton site who told us they feel worried about their safety at work, but under pressure to come in. We think Bacavor's behaviour is completely appalling. They had plenty of opportunities to make this place safe for the workers. They failed to do so. On the back of this, they went and they tried to trap the workers with the sack. We think this is completely outrageous. In a statement, Bacavor says the manager's comments were inappropriate, that he has been given leave and will receive further training before he returns to work. The company apologises to its workforce for the miscommunication and insists no colleague should come to work if they feel unwell, are self-isolating or if a family member is unwell. Bacavor says its hygiene controls fully comply with official guidelines and its factories are a safe working environment. Tonight, as the evening shift began to queue, Sainsbury's and Marks and & Spencer said they planned to investigate and Tesco said the health and safety of everyone working in our supply chain is a priority. Joel Hills, News at 10.